Mr. Chair. I, I have enjoyed all the conversation from both sides of the aisle today, uh, praising uh, Governor Romney. I will look forward to their support in November as well, and on the same voice on that. Um, I have also uh, appreciated some of the conversation about other countries. Uh, in, in my area, in Oklahoma City, let me tell a couple of stories. Um, in Oklahoma City, there is a surgical hospital there that does a flat fee surgery. Uh, it is a tremendous hospital, very popular. When they started several years ago, the owner of the hospital said the surprise that he had is once they posted their fees online and started competing and opened up, the first folks that started to call them were the Canadians who would rather fly to Oklahoma City, stay there, pay for the surgery, and fly home, then wait six months for the exact same surgery back home. Uh, another story. There is a, a cancer radiation treatment center in Oklahoma City, two really fantastic ones that are there, stellar. 25 percent of their business is from the U.K. because we have more advanced cancer treatment in Oklahoma City than they have in all of the U.K. So while we talk about perspectives here, it is interesting for me to look at it and say uh, we will get some flat amount that everyone will get access to, but the world is still coming here. And the lines are apparently very long overseas, and those who have the money and can fly out and go cut the line get it, and those who don't suffer and wait. So the, the promises that are built into this uh, have been interesting to me to be able to track. The, the, the promise that you are going to be able to keep your health care. If you like it, you can keep your plan. Now we are hearing from the administration up to 80 percent of the small business plans will not be acceptable and will not be grandfathered in, up to 80 percent. Up to 64 percent of the large employer plans will not be grandfathered in and will have time to make some sort of change. The cost has changed in the last two years from $800 billion to $1.8 trillion in two years, and it has not been fully implemented yet. And now we hear from CBO that they estimate in the next 10 years 800,000 jobs will be affected by this, 800,000 lost jobs. Now, may I remind everyone, in June, our economy only created 80,000. So we are talking about 800,000 lost jobs. Now, my concern is, is that there seems to be some assumption that health care is complicated and difficult, and if we would only give it to the Federal Government, it would be so much easier and more efficient and faster. And I think that is where I struggle with the process on this. It, it, is, it is the thought that there is something that the States do that if the Federal Government did it, it would be better. If there is something that private business did, if the Federal Government it, did it, it would be better. And I just struggle with that, personally. Does, does anyone know of an example of, of a State regulation that went to Federal that was so much more efficient and cheaper and faster, or of a private business that, when it was Federalized, it suddenly got cheaper and faster and more efficient? I don't either. And I am not anti-government. But there seems to be this assumption that we will be so much more efficient, it will be so much cheaper, it will be so much better if we will just federalize this. Now, was that a rhetorical question? No, it was an actual question. I, I do have an answer to that. And again, it is the industry that I am in. I cannot imagine air transportation commerce being regulated State by State. No, no I, I can't understand that. Now, well, that is no, an answer to the no, question. No, no, no. Here is the thing on that. There is a difference between setting the boundaries, State Highway Department, aviation, whatever it may be, and if instead we came to your business, as you mentioned before, uh, with health care costs or with energy costs. You mentioned that, the fluctuating cost of energy. If we went in and did a, a mandate on energy, we are going to lock in the fees. Uh, my, my question to you, you know, I am on the Aviation Subcommittee for Transportation. I could bring up a bill for aviation and say, you know what, let's go into all the, because I don't like paying the different prices. I have noticed different months, different prices for aviation. I would like to lock those down and just have one price and I am going to set it. In fact, I am going to come to all the aviation groups and I am going to say, I don't like how much advertising you do. I see it all the time. It is a waste. So I'm going to say 95 percent has to go to the passenger. I need 95 percent of the money, and you can keep 5 percent for administration. You would be ticked at that point because you run a great company, apparently, and you should have the flexibility to run a great company and provide a great service and compete and win. And the concern is, is that somehow if we federalized it, if we went into your company, not just set boundaries for safety, but went into not just regulating but running your company, it would somehow make it better. Now, I, I do want to ask a question, Mr. Richland. You, you brought up a, an interesting thing. You, you said four to 500 jobs have not been created because you all have hesitated on expanding business. Would you clarify that for me as well? 
Yeah, for the past several years, we've been looking to expand into new territory. So we've done market research to explore that. In uh, looking towards that, we're concerned about what our cost curves are going to look like, so we've held back on any expansion at this point. So right now you're just on pause until what? Until you, we get 2014 and try to figure out what the costs are going to be and then try to see what moves from there, so at least two more years of pause? Well, we're a family-owned business in the restaurant industry, so by nature we're optimistic. Right. But I think um, we're really, really trying to sort out and understand. We know for certain, um, so it isn't speculation on our part, we can look and model out that our costs are going to increase more than 20 percent when it comes to health care. That's $7 million plus. Um, that's a lot of money that could go into to building new restaurants, creating new jobs, and providing more benefits for our team members. Yeah. So, Thank you. Without a yield back. I'd like to 